Hi guys, today we're going over our 8K 60 Hertz, 4K 120 Hertz audio extractor, the JTD 302. We're going to take this PlayStation 5 here and play 4K 120 Hertz on this 4K 120 Hertz display. We're going to scroll up to the settings here and then we're going to go to screen and video and then you're going to be on video output. You're going to scroll down. Now, by default, your console should be on automatic resolution. If you do happen to experience any issues reaching the desired resolution, which in this case will be 2160p, enable it manually within the resolution and frequency settings on the PlayStation 5. And also, another thing that to note and the most important step is to make sure that you have your 120 hertz output on automatic. Without this setting, you won't be able to achieve 4K 120 hertz. And then lastly, your application, the game that you're gonna be playing, most important part, is to enable frame rate or performance mode on those games. They might label them differently, so refer to your game's instructions. Once you have that enabled, your PlayStation 5 will achieve 4K 120 hertz. All right, so one more thing we're gonna go over are the settings you need to enable for your video games. Here we have Overwatch 2 and we're in the video menu. So under display, specifically for Overwatch and very similar in other games, you want to go to your preferred mode. You, typically they're gonna start, out, start you out at resolution mode or balanced mode. But what you need to enable is frame rate or performance mode on those video games. Once you do that, you should have 4K 120 Hertz running on the specific app that you're playing the game on. You might have to do this, I would say most of the time for every video game that you do play. So just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna confirm that our settings have been properly enabled on our PlayStation 5. So I'm gonna click the PlayStation Home button on the PlayStation 5 remote. I'm gonna go Home, going to go to Settings, going to go to screen and video, and then go to video output, video output information, current video output signal, and then here's the results of our work. We got 2160, 120 hertz, AKA 4K 120 hertz running currently on your television with your PS5. So now I'm gonna show you how to enable the performance mode on this LG TV. We're gonna go to settings, I'm going to go to all settings and then we're going to go to picture select mode and then in this case it'll be the game optimizer mode I'm going to enable it here and from there on you should have 4k 120 hertz mode enabled on your lg tv now you'll have other similar models and different LG TVs as well as different brands that have similar phrasing that will that you can enable as well. Now we're going to go over our audio extractors HDMI ARC function. Please note that this unit does not support eARC. First, connect your display's ARC port to HDMI out port on the extractor. Next, press the arc button on the extractor and ensure the arc light is turned on. Finally, you must use optical out port on the extractor to connect to an external sound system. Please note that while using the arc function, you can only extract audio via the optical port on the extractor. Now, if your display does support eARC and does not support arc and eARC simultaneously, you may have to disable eARC within the display. Here we have our LG 8K65 QNED 99 UPA display, and I will walk you through how to disable the eARC functionality on that TV. So we're gonna go to all settings, sound, advanced settings, and then you're gonna see eARC support. You want to disable that. And then you should have sound come out of your extractor and your TV may have similar settings to this TVs.